Alright, we're in Tainan. Um, we're traveling by ourselves. So we ran into a Japanese building. Um, you can tell it's a Japanese building by the architecture. Now it's the National Museum of Taiwan Literature. Pretty Genki if I do say so myself. Let me teach you a thing or two about Henry David Thoreau. Uh, now he's one of the fathers of transcendentalism. As you can see here, uh, Thoreau preferred a life of solitude and occupied himself uh, with constant learning and self-introspection. Now he spent uh, about two years just in a cabin by himself. Uh, his ideal life is one of meditation and living in harmony with nature. And um, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Wait, does it say... <laughs> Thoreau is temporarily imprisoned for refusing to pay taxes. A government's wrongdoings should be counterbalanced by means of civil disobedience. So like, rioting. This one goes out to you, Feinberg. Man, they got Jack London too. So train tickets are what, about 2,700, right? Um, I had uh, 2,500, AQ had 100 and 200, AQ had 200, so we have enough money for that, uh, but we need some lunch, so I have uh, about 35, I have how about, much you got? Um, um, 85. So you have about 85, 35, wait, wait, 80. You have about 80, Yeah. 35 plus 80 is 115. Uh, we have a ton of US money. <laughs> well, I'm assuming it's it's not quite worthless. Wait, wait. Wait, we found some more coins. Ooh. Here we go. We have lunch. We have lunch. We have lunch. AQ and I are making our way over to a Confucius temple. It's about an eight minute walk. And then from there, I think we're gonna get on the bullet train and head back to Taipei. See a Confucius temple. We didn't have enough money to go inside, but it was fun while it lasted. All right, so we're on our way out of Tainan. Um, got a 16 minute walk to the train station and it's pretty hot outside. Thank God there's the train station. More of a traditional above ground train than anything else, right? So we don't have a lot of money. Uh, we paid for the tickets. And now we're getting the cheapest meal in the train station. Some fun bien bien. This. This is my kind of life.
right, we're going out one last time. Got to pick up some ingredients for some pizza we're about to make. Do all that stuff. Thinking, all right, it's gonna be great. So there's been a market inside this building the entire time and I had no idea. All right, flash forward five minutes from that last little clip. We couldn't really find anything in that market that we needed, so we're gonna try another. And here we have the classic meats. Uh, these ones made in America. Um, right next to the coca-cola for a dollar get this i mean this is pretty much the same size as the dollar cokes at mcdonald's right there's no pepperoni so we settled for uh, german bockwurst sausage we got some homemade pizzas going on over here i guess that's a good meal for the last night right got a couple already out on the table and uh, interestingly enough uh, this one is um, made with some of the best barbecue sauce ever to be made. Instead of classic pizza sauce we got Meat Mitch Womp Sauce. I honestly really can't wait to try this. That's it, show's over, adventure's over. But yeah, seriously, no, this is my last day. I mean, at the time of recording this at around 12 o'clock, I'll be waking up in five-ish hours, 5.30, and then I'll wake up, take a shower, get on the airplane, and be back in Kansas City. I mean, if you remember episode one all the way back in San Francisco, that was like 20 days ago. Exactly 20 days ago. There's been 20 episodes and 20 days spent in this beautiful country. And frankly, I think I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss this beautiful country that made me want to start a video blog in the first place. I mean, it'd be really hard for someone not to find the beauty in this place. There's beauty in almost everything around here. How the mountains clash with the sea. How the skyscrapers clash with the sky. How the ancient cultures and respect for nature clash with the modern industrialization and infrastructure. It all just paints a beautiful picture in the scenery around here. And I tried my best to accurately put it onto camera. To put it on the internet so I could have as many people watch it as I could. And if you stuck with me since episode one, since all the way back in San Francisco, I thank you. But if this is your first episode, then I'd tell you to go back and watch the other 19. But I thank you for watching anyway. It's been a long journey and we traveled through so many different places. From Taipei to Tainan, from Taichung to Kaohsiung. We traveled by train, bus, plane, and car. We've traveled near and far. We really have been through a lot of places and I took it as my duty, my honor, as an American to show the world what this place has to offer. To spread culture and awareness back to my city, back to my state, back to my country about this place. Taiwan is very special. And I mean, they don't call themselves the heart of Asia for no reason at all. The food is great. The people are so nice. Ugh, oh, the people. This household that I'm staying in right now has been one of the most hospitable households that I've ever been in. They're just so nice. How does a family be this nice and welcoming? Really, I'm just glad they treated me so well while I was here. And of course, they're welcome to my house whenever they get the chance to come to the States. Well, I guess that's it though. The last episode of Taipei 913. Really, I just hope this inspires you to just come to Taiwan. Come see Taipei. Come see all of the beauty, all of the nature, all of the awesome people. And if you know anyone who's looking to go to Asia, who really wants to see what it's all about, well, I encourage you to send them a link to this video series. But really, it's been a pleasure experiencing this with you guys. Thanks for watching, and good night.